YouTube. What is good, everybody? It's Tika B back again with another video, and today I will be doing a really just a discussion mukbang. So I have my leftover sauce from B Love's um, seasoning. I froze it, and she was right, y'all. She was right. When you freeze it, and you just um. Sorry, and then you just warm it up in the microwave. I had a little bit more chicken broth this time because um, it was a little thick last time, but that's okay. Now, sorry if I keep looking up at the screen. I have a um a new camera, so I'm trying not I'm trying to get used to not looking at the screen that flips above it, and I gotta look at y'all. You feel me? Gotta look directly at y'all. So anyway, today I'm gonna be eating some just regular shrimp some egg i got some lemon that i kind of froze inside of it it made the sauce like super lemony and then i got my sausage which is on the side because it couldn't fit in the bowl otherwise it already had already spilled over but y'all can't see that and i have corn did i say corn yeah and i got some corn so any hoosies let me get this started y'all this sauce by be love is bomb is bomb bomb i got the spicy one it wasn't really that spicy see focus focus on the shrimp catch it catch it oh look at that shrimp you shrimp my god mm. also, i really love the sauce and i really think i am addicted to seafood boils just like she said once you um get started oh my god you're gonna like want it every day so Oh, that's hot. Mm. Anyway, you guys, y'all know that this um, virus, this situation that's been happening and going on, y'all, it has shut down my kids' school, daycare, my school, all but my job. <laughs> they actually set some uh, some stuff for us that's um special so apparently if we go home and we don't let nobody know that we're going home we can be all right you know so they won't like get be mad at us basically but it's crazy we're basically like for the kids that's at home right now we're basically as parents homeschooling our kids for about a month my kids i cannot go back to school until april 10th y'all it's march 17th oh my god i forgot today's my birthday ooh, ooh, ooh. happy birthday to me happy birthday to me Happy birthday to Tika B. E. Happy birthday to me. Comment down below if you guys can guess how old I am. I confuse people with my hair and my face and my voice. I didn't got 16. I didn't got 32. So guess how old I am. Guess how old I am. I've gotten so many um, numbers in between y'all. Like I'm like, you wrong, you wrong, you wrong, you wrong, you wrong. Nope, that's not how old I am. So comment down below if you can guess how old i am yes today is my birthday it's every day on saint patrick's day it's not because the way the day fall in the week no every year i'm sorry not every day every year my birthday is on saint patty's day so i am a lucky duck i don't know too much about it but um hold on y'all this white is oh there we go wait is that too dark that's okay so anyway it's about the irish people and something like that i have to look it up i honestly don't know i just know that green's my favorite color and it's like the national day i can celebrate green and drink beer because beer is good i like beer a lot of people don't like to drink beer but i do i drink all types of beer like i drink i don't know i drink michelob i drink those ackies i drink heineken my favorite though my favorite it's Shark Top. It's a Belgian white beer, I believe, and it's so freaking good. It has like an orange citrus flavor to it. Oh, I'm telling you, get you like one of these boils, go get you some good food in you, and have you a nice big old glass of Shark Top. Boy, you gonna be set up straight, baby boy. So freaking good. I mean, mm, they have a they have a beer that's like shock top people swear by it and it's like oh my gosh blue moon blue moon's the way to go shock top blue moon shock top and i'm like shock top all day if you don't have shock top i will drink blue moon because it's it tastes similar it's not the same but it does taste similar but 
Shock Top is my favorite. But yeah. Mm. Ooh, that's hot. Good God. I'm gonna come back to you. You hot. I'm gonna come back. Um. So anyway, back to this whole school situation of my kids being home. Um. Yeah, so basically I have to homeschool, homeschool, homeschool my babies for about a month. And I'm running out of ideas on what to do. Like, I know we have ABC Mouse already. That is already downloaded on our computer. So, mm. our babies do that. Excuse me. I have a two-year-old and a seven-year-old. So, my son, the seven-year-old, he'll go ahead and he'll get on ABC Mouse. My daughter, she too, so she just do anything. So, I just do, like, sensory stuff for her. But I just found out about this awesome web website called Teachers Pay Teachers. Like, these are actual teachers or um, people of, you know, that career. They actually post things that are for homeschool people. I mean, they post stuff that you can use in your classrooms, too. But they post stuff specifically for families or moms and dads or whatever that want to homeschool their kids. And it's so freaking bomb. And then they're cheap. Like, I can't remember this lady. I think her name is Alva. Or something alva alvarita but she has this awesome awesome um page on teachers pay teachers and i actually just downloaded her um second grader pamphlet book it's like a, a pdf that you print out i didn't already printed it out um downloaded it printed it put it in a binder with the little clear sheets and then my son caleb he'll just basically will do like sensory time and learning time social studies math um, history all types of stuff and it's all freaking included and it's like bomb y'all now his teacher did send him some stuff Mm. his teacher did send some stuff via email but it was just basically like website stuff like go to this website learn this but i'm asking like how the heck are we supposed to like what if we don't know nothing about teaching our kids like i feel bad for those parents that don't have the time to teach their kids at home or they rely on daycare or school so that they can go to work type situation like these poor babies have to be at home i mean I'm not saying it's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing that the school shut down because of this situation, because it keeps our kids safe. It keeps us safe. It keeps the teachers and all of the officials at the school safe. Perfectly fine with that. I'm just saying, what about the families that don't have the resources like other parents do? Mind you, y'all, mind you, <clears throat> these stores are empty. When I tell you they empty and now that like the stores are, I love H-E-B. H-E-B is my store. I go there almost every time. Girl, let me finish this corn. Hold on. Because I've been babysitting this corn. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a double dipper. I'm a triple dipper. Mm -hmm. This is my sauce. Anybody eat it but me? some two times spicy sauce in this go get y'all some of that that's that seasoning is a bomb it's a liquid sauce that goes with the two times spicy noodles but they got the sauce that you can order on amazon i dropped me a couple tablespoons in it my mouth is on fire but it's so good anyway what was i saying what was i talking about i was talking about the schools anyway yeah so the schools are closed i feel bad for the parents and whoever guardians that don't have the resources they need oh the store's closing. Y'all, there's an H-E-B right around the corner from my house. First of all, they close it early, like five hours early so they could restock it. They limit, they're they limiting us four items per family. So, say you got to go get some milk for your kids or some eggs, you know, simple stuff like that. Even canned goods, y'all. Four freaking items per family. So, I'm trying to order on curbside. H-E-B curbside is a thing that you can go pick up your food. They don't deliver it to me, unfortunately. But I ordered on curbside and I went up in that store so I could get eight items. Eight items. Like, come on now. This stuff is real. This stuff is getting real serious. I'm not scared, though, because, you know, God is on my side. God is on our side because God is good all the time. You feel me? But it's just scary how, you know, all of this stuff is happening. Water is gone. Girl, no toilet paper. No dishwashing liquid. All the bleach is gone. I can't wash my clothes. 
I'm talking about even the sparkling water because you know a lot of people don't drink sparkling water that'd be the main stuff left there at the grocery store the sparkling water gone ginger ale I mean the weirdest stuff is gone I tried to go to the store and get the mukbang stuff or the seafood boy like exactly how B-Love do it the damn ginger is gone like who buys pickled ginger all the pickled ginger is gone all of it I mean the weirdest stuff is gone I mean can well it's weird to me because I don't eat it can spam I don't eat spam but all of that was gone all types of stuff the yogurt was gone I'm like yo this stuff is real let's get real 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 serious so mm, I forgot about my sausage I um I need to order some more water because we didn't ran through that water we're a water drinking family first of all and it's crazy how the water is gone, y'all. My uh, my cousin said, oh, it's zombie season. So I did a little research. She talked, she sent me a picture of the academy. All the bullets is gone. Half of the pistols and shotguns have been bought up. Bow and arrows, fishing rods. I mean, people acting like the world is ending. Yeah, it's kind of, it's scary that it's around the world. This one little thing is around the world. But they buying up everything. And you could do your own research. Go online, you can read this stuff yourself. Mm. I'm not lying. This is so good. This stuff is around the world, y'all. So I'm gonna just stay my little happy butt inside as much as possible. Teach my kids. So that they won't be behind in school. Mm. I'm asking the teachers, what do we teach our kids? Are they gonna fall behind? Or are they gonna pass on to the grade level? My son's in first grade, so he's supposed to move on to second grade. His teacher has been really omitting information, at least that's what I feel. But she's basically saying the school districts are talking to each other, amongst each other, about what they should do with the kids and. If they're gonna move on to next grade level, like just give them a pass because the SATs. Um, I'm in Texas, so I think it's called the Texas Star Program or something like that. Texas Star Testing. All of that's been omitted, like completely just wiped away. Like, don't worry about it, y'all. Because of the situation that's going on in the world, don't worry about it. And y'all, it's what March, April, May. It's only two months in our school districts two freaking months left and then the kids not going back to April 10th that leaves 30 days to get everything crammed back together they just need to wipe all this away and say yo your kids pass base it off of I don't know how they been doing the whole school year just let the let our kids pass because if my son have to start over to the first grade and he's seven because of this crap I'm gonna be I'm gonna be to the highest of pistivity <laughs> the higher the, the highest of pistivity y'all don't understand how hard we have worked to get him to where he's at now. And my baby's a unique child. I say unique is because he has a harder time learning than other kids, but he's so freaking smart. Like he's super, super, super smart. And we work hard on his learning, like learning like spelling, reading, math, counting numbers, learning the clock. Oh y'all, I'm sweating. It's hot. Anyway. Mm. It's freaking ridiculous, y'all. So I just pray to God that they don't set my baby back in the grade level and he can actually pass with um, with the other kids or pass in general. Oh my God, my schooling. If y'all don't know, for those of you that don't know, I'm also in school. Well, I'm about to graduate. I just finished my program. And I have externship that was supposed to start like this week. However, the doctor's office that want me they can't even accept me right now because there's too much stuff going on. They gave me a call and said, we're so sorry, we're still interested in you coming to extern here. However, because of the situation that's going on around the world, we have to take our precautions and not invite any extra people here. So they wanna keep their veterans there. I'm not mad at that, it's cool, because it's actually, it's all God's divine plan. So my externship won't start, which means I would have to work from nine to five my kids' school is closed and the daycare is closed. I wouldn't have had nowhere to put them. So, unfortunately, but thank God, I will be at home with my babies until all this stuff blows over. And then the externship, they promised me, they said, hey, 
we still gonna take you because we really love your work we love your school work we love your resume we love everything about you we want you here and this is the place that's gonna hire me for the job after externship is over with so mm -hmm. oh my gosh or just like that I'm getting full I guess my eyes are bigger than my dog on stomach But yeah, so thank goodness. Thank goodness this is working out the way that it should. It's not gonna go on our time, it's on God's time. Period. It's on God's time. See my green cup. Am I mad that I have to stay inside for my birthday? No, because I probably wasn't going to do anything anyway. Probably go get some drinks or something from um, Bombshells. I love that place. Go get me some green beer. Um, Go get me some green beer. Probably give me a couple shots and come my little happy butt home. I don't do much, y'all. I don't really go out. I don't like the club. I don't like bars really. I like sports bars. I don't like just like regular bars where you go. I like to dance, but don't nobody like to go dancing with me. Like I don't have any friends. I have one best friend, but she's like my sister, so I don't really call her my friend. That's my sister. I grew up with her since. Whew. Let's see. Since second grade? Yeah, it's been like second grade since I've known her. So, add that up. That's my baby. That's my best friend. She, We've been through everything together. Literally everything. But, yeah. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I'm debating if I'm going to save this sauce again. <laughs> like, freeze it again and rewarm it. I don't even know how long I can actually hold this sauce like I don't think B-Love told me that I'm gonna have to check her out and ask her I'm about this sauce is thick and this stuff is still hot yummy 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 focus damn sorry y'all it's a new camera I'm trying to focus it catch it catch it Catch it. Oh, look at that. Oh, we made. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there you go. Hold on. I'm running out of shrimp. I should have made way more shrimp than this. Y'all, I cannot find freaking prawns. I haven't seen them on video. Like, I really, 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 really want to try these big old shrimp. I'm talking about the shrimp is as big as your hand. I really want to try it. But I can't find it. I don't want to order it offline because I feel like it's going to take too long, even though they say next day shipping. But I like to see what I'm buying before I buy it. Excuse me. I like to see what I'm buying before I buy it. So I'm real iffy on that. Like they can, they got a picture online on what the prawns look like, but mm -mm, I want to see it, smell it. Ask the butcher or the person, whoever that's behind the seafood section to let me look at it and then I'll buy it. But I can't find a meat market. I'm in Houston, y'all. I cannot find one meat market that sell them. I didn't went everywhere. There's one person told me to go to the Let Me Check on them. They don't have them there. They got meat, like like beef, chicken. I didn't even see any um like big old prawns. So maybe I gotta go to Chinatown area or something. What I wish we had of was Oshans. If you from H Town and you know what Oshans was off of Bellway 8, boy, they had everything. It was like Walmart before Walmart was Walmart. You feel me? Like they had everything. Like you walked in. 
against the wall. They got everything, everybody buying all types of stuff. African gear, soror uh, sorority and fraternity gear. I'm talking about a candy store. You get your nails done, get your hair done, freaking get your car detailed. There's like a door that opens to the outside. Get your car detailed if you drove up to it. Then you got the meat section, the grocery section. Then you got the clothes section in the back. Girl, you could have went and bought some toys like that was walmart before walmart was big and popping before anything and that was what we had our built way eight i missed that place so much i could have easily went there and got my got my prawns could have ordered me a whole lot mm, 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 mm. i'm gonna find it i will find it i'm not tripping i will find it soon if you're from Houston, North Houston, South Houston, it, we all Houston. It don't really matter. Specifically, I don't know. I'm just going to say Houston because it don't matter me saying any other city in Texas, Houston, because we all pretty much Houston. You could drive damn near two days and you're still in Texas. <laughs> That's how big we are. You could drive a whole hour and a half and you're still barely outside of Houston. So if you're around this area, Comment down below where I can get those huge prawns. If y'all know what a prawn is, I think I think they're like shrimp. They look like shrimp to me, but they're not shrimp. They're prawns. Whatever. They them big old shrimp. That's the size of your hand. I need like 20 of them. Let me know. Comment down below because I need to find them ASAP. I've been wanting to try it with this sauce. I've been wanting to try it with my Times 2 spicy noodle sauce. Because right now, people swam by that sauce and them doggone prawns. I want it. I know being cute with this. Woo there we go. My bad, y'all. My camera cut off. They said the camera don't cut off until 30 minutes. That's like a cut off at, well, I guess so, 28.9 seconds. Well, I just don't keep rolling. But yeah, apparently when you're videoing on your camera, it cuts off at 30 minutes. So we have to constantly cut it off, cut it back on. Anyway, I don't remember what's the last thing I was saying, but I think I'm gonna end this video here because I didn't mess around and ate some more, found some more shrimp in here and the camera went on. So anyway, um, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, please don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. And I will um, make sure I post some more mukbang videos. I'm not just going to do seafood. I'll do all types of little foods. Um, also, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and hit that bell because uh, I will be posting more videos very, 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 very soon. So if you guys want to get notified when I post some more videos, please, 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 please. Hit that like button. Let me know you guys liked it. Smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you guys can get those post notifications. Love you all. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And everybody have a blessed day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I mean, wash them hands. Lather it. Warm water. Lather your hands. And dry them, you guys. Number one precaution. Everybody have a great day. Bye.